is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel we are in a very special place today something first for us on the nights of horror we are at universal studios orlando to celebrate their 30th anniversary of halloween horror nights 30 years of fear we're gonna go through some mazes check them out see what we like see what we didn't like but i can tell you already i'll probably like everything we're gonna check out the scare zones i'm gonna show you guys the scare zones uh, if you guys haven't seen our previous video already we did the the tribute store walkthrough so go check that out right now it's on the channel without further ado let's go get scared just got out of Case Files Unearthed, and I have to say, hands down so far, my favorite maze of the event. You guys are into like detective noir, uh, like whodunit kind of killer novels and stuff like that, like thrillers, you're gonna absolutely love this maze. Uh, based around, of course, uh, they, they usually take, from what I've been told from a lot of my uh, Orlando pals out here, they take a lot of the stuff that's usually around the park and they usually try to tie it in, make up a lot of fictional stuff, which I love here. Um, and the maze was just great. Um, you got to, to, to see some awesome case files of uh, the detective, his name is Boris, and it was a phenomenal time. You got to go through all his case files. In the beginning, they show someone reading them, and then you get to actually walk through them as like a real life kind of nightmare kind of thing. Really fun maze, highly recommend it. Let's go see what else the park has to offer. We just walked through um, Eddie's scare zone, lights, camera, action, and uh, Eddie for me is one of my favorite icons here at Halloween Horror Nights, and I'm glad they gave him his own scare zone. It was actually a tribute to the 30 years of Halloween Horror Nights, which is really cool around here. So we're going to go check out what they have to offer next, uh, other mazes, some shows, and uh, we hope to stick around. just got out of the Bride of Frankenstein Lives and oh my god, that was a beautiful maze. I really enjoyed every moment of it. I can't wait to see what Hollywood puts on. Uh, the best part about uh, doing reviews for Horror Nights is I get to compare them, uh, the mazes, IPs at least, with Eddie. So I cannot wait to compare them going through both, uh, especially next weekend we're going to Horror Nights, Sammy and I, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Stay tuned for that vlog. That will be coming out next week. But. We're about to go through some more mazes. We just went through Seek and Destroy and 30 Years, 30 Fears, the Scare Zones. Uh, we're right next to Crypt TV right now. We're about to hit more mazes. It should be a lot of fun.
a musical instrument. So we just got out of HHN Icons Captured and I have to say, so far, that is the best maze I've ever been through. Um, that and, and Case Files are probably my top two right now. So we went through Case Files, we went through Poor Icons Captured, and now The Bride of Frankenstein Lives as well. Poor Icons Captured though, what can I say about that? If you guys are fans of the HHN Icons out here in Orlando, you're gonna love this maze. It's pretty much, they get their own rooms, they get to really um, kind of explore who they are. And at the end, because uh, I've been through this maze three times now, it's a new icon that takes the throne. There's like a game-winning throne. I've gotten Jack twice, and I've gotten now the Usher. I'm gonna try to hit it more before I leave my trip here, but HHN Icons Captured, probably my number one favorite right now. <laughs> Beetlejuice and I have to say Beetlejuice was scenically beautiful. The scares weren't quite there but it, I think that was more meant to be just a beautiful maze as it is. If you guys are fans of the film Beetlejuice you're absolutely gonna love this maze. Scenic wise it just would blew me away. The scare characters did an amazing job in there and yeah I, I, I this was one that was high on my list. Hate to say it, it might go a little bit below because some of these originals are blowing me away, but Beetlejuice nonetheless, a fun time. Let's go check out some more mazes and some more scare zones. Oh.
thus concludes our adventure here at Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando. I want to give a special shout out to everyone involved with this event, whether you're a scare actor, behind the scenes, creative, uh, even line control security, all that. An amazing job. Uh, great time. There it is back there. But I enjoyed the hell out of this event. This was my first year coming on the 30th anniversary. Couldn't have picked a better year, and I am so happy for that. Now, before we sign off, I got to give you guys a couple more maze reviews. So the Haunting of Hill House. Uh, what can I say about the Haunting of Hill House, man? Probably the only maze to really scare the shit out of me. Uh, fantastic maze, great set design. Really amazing facade was probably the best thing I saw in that thing. Loved it. Um, welcome to Scary Horror in Heartland. Fucking great maze. A great tribute to the uh, the urban legend of Scary Ohio. Cary, Ohio, that is. And I enjoyed the walkthrough. A lot of fun stuff to see the town of Cary, Ohio. Really come to life at this event. Really cool. Really dope. Wicked Growth was fantastic. Uh, the Pumpkin Lord uh, will forever be one of my favorites. Um, just how badass he looked in his throne. Really cool. If you guys are huge, this is like the Halloween maze to go through. Guaranteed. Right there. Puppet Theater. Such an amazing maze. I love the whole aesthetics of the puppets uh, on the, the people's faces and kind of it being a rundown theater uh, taken over by kind of like this puppet thing. Really reminded me a lot of kind of like House of Wax. Uh, just meets puppets really uh, really fun time really dope the Texas Chainsaw Massacre cool Ooh, we got lighting right there awesome Texas Chainsaw Massacre was really good uh, really gory really fun um, smells were great sets looked awesome even got to see Shock Top that was really cool it was like a mixture of Texas Chainsaw Massacre meets Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 lots of fun had a great time and the maze I honestly wasn't looking forward for the most, but really shocked me, was Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. I really enjoyed this maze, more than I thought, and I just watched a POV of it for last year's HHN Light event, but goddamn was this a really solid fucking maze. I enjoyed it a lot, uh, just the, the whole like lore of the Tooth Fairy like being really twisted and dark, really fucking cool. But uh, I want to give a special shout out to a couple people, um, Connor Florida, uh, you came with me Friday night, and we went through at least four mazes together. You're a fucking legend, bro. I love you. Lost TV and Zombie Chris, they spent most of the days with me here at Horror Nights, both Friday and Saturday. And they gave me the best, like, experience in the park that I can possibly get. Uh, on top of that, they were the ones that got me the Rush of Fear Pass uh, for Thursday night when I flew in, and we got to hit Icons that night. Uh, and Lost just hooking it up with a lot of things. Uh, Chris just being funny as hell. Had a great time hanging out with a couple booze bros. Great to finally meet them in person. I'm very much going to miss Orlando, but it's time to come home to California. We got many more haunts to hit. Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood is coming up. Not Scary Farm, Six Flags, Fright Fest, just to name a few. Not to mention even the home haunts. Lots to do. I got to kick TLAV's ass in the Try Not To Get Scared Challenge. But I had an amazing time, so again, it's from the bottom of my heart, thank you Universal Studios Orlando Halloween Horror Nights for putting on such an amazing event. We will be back next year, opening weekend. Mark my words, we are coming back. This is going to be one of our new yearly traditions. And one last final goodbye at Halloween Horror Nights 30 in Universal Studios Orlando. I'm Anthony from the Knights of Horror. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are brand new to the channel. And that bell notification be where every time we put up a new video. Follow us on social media at the Knights of Horror on Instagram and Knights of Horror on Twitter. With all that being said, I love each and every one of you. See you guys in the fog.